Okay, so where this started from, I was reading this book, Endemic Skeletal Fluorosis, and one of the lines in the book was that water that comes from volcanic rock has a much increased incidence of, uh, of F- in it, fluoride. So I thought, well, gee, that's interesting. And then I had a bottle of uh, this Fiji water around the house, and I remember reading on the label, it says, in Fiji, it's the Fiji Islands, Tropical rainwater filters through ancient volcanic rock before collecting in an aquifer. And I'm like, uh-oh. And so why do I think this is funny? Because Fiji water has a reputation as being one of the best types of water. And the reason it has a reputation as being one of the best types of water is it contains silica in a high amount. Silica is a chelator that binds to aluminum and takes aluminum out of the body. So people say that, oh, Fiji water and other waters that contain uh, silica are probably the best ones to drink because they will pull the aluminum out of your body and therefore protect you from that terrible neurotoxin. And so why is this funny? Because F- uh, Fiji's got one of the highest rates of having F- in their fluoride, which is also a major neurotoxin. So you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're just trading off on the problems. This is a uh, internet website called thetruthaboutfluoride.com and they tested Fiji and they had 0.24 parts per million uh, in it. And that's one of the highest uh, fluoride amounts you'll find in any of the bottled waters. Um, they, they not only tested it, they also found, they bought a version of the bottled water uh, that had it was written on the Fiji bottle itself that they had that it had about the same amount, you know, 20 parts per million or 0.2 parts per million. So this is not 24, it's 0.24. Excuse me, let me read that correctly. It's not 24, it's 0.24 parts per million. And what was labeled on their bottle was 0.2 parts per million. Okay, and they tested it themselves and got, you know, about the same amount. So anyways, that's what I thought was funny, that the so-called water to protect you from dementia in one way by removing the aluminum neurotoxin actually screws you in another way by having a lot of F-minus in it. If you look carefully, you can find some bottled waters that don't have uh, F-minus in them. And I can't guarantee they won't have aluminum in them, but they're not supposed to. Uh, and those will be the ones that are filtered by reverse osmosis. You can also get them by distillation, but I worry about distillation being hypoosmolar because there's something called TDS, total dissolved solids. Um, and our blood osmolality is about 285 to 300, and it's not exactly the same as TDS. TDS is number of particles per you know cubic centimeter, but it's ballpark. You can use them as equivalent for our purposes. Tap water is about 500 TDS particles per square centimeter. Uh, carbon filter water tends to be about 200 particles per cubic centimeter. TDS, total dissolved solids. Uh, RO water tends to be anywhere from about 10 to 110 TDS. Distilled water is 0 to 2 on its TDS. So it's hyper purified. That's why, again, and you should eat something first or squeeze a lemon or something else into your water if you're going to drink distilled. I don't drink distilled, but, you know, I, have, I could study more about it. I don't know. Um, anyway, so that's the scoop. So Fiji turns out to be a screw job. F and Fiji is for F minus now, I guess. That's how I'm going to think of it. And the Keith came from reading that thing about the volcanic rocks. I thought that was interesting.